the new show from Payne Lindsay, the latest from podnews.net with Magellan AI, helping you build your podcast ad plan. Tenderfoot TV and Cadence 13 have extended a podcast partnership through 2024. A number of new shows are planned, including a UFO investigative series hosted by Tenderfoot TV's co-founder Payne Lindsay. Spotify reckons it now has 5.5 million podcasts, according to an app notification on January the 13th. The podcast index is on 4.1 million and Apple is on 2.5 million, suggests Podcast Industry Insights. Measurement and research company Nielsen is to restructure and will reduce headcount by what they say is hundreds. Meanwhile, AI company Soundhound has laid off half its remaining employees. Its technology is used by companies like Odyssey, Pandora and Netflix. Spotify was down for a few hours on Friday night. Everything's back now, though. Blueberry has launched Quick Links, a link to share everything about your show with others. We'll link to an example for the company's podcast Insider Show. It's free for all Blueberry customers. And OSHA has launched Deep Links, a method to link directly to an episode on a number of different platforms. We'll link to an example linking to an episode of their own Tips podcast. It's free for all OSHA customers. What will Joe Rogan do when his Spotify contract is up for renewal? Barstool Sports founder Dave Portnoy was on Joe Rogan's show on January the 5th and asked how Rogan dealt with the controversy last year and whether it harmed his relationship with Spotify. Was that relationship ever close to being severed because of that or not? I don't think so. My relationship with them was always great in communicating with them. They stood by me the way they stand by rappers. But they stood by you for the same reason you're saying everything else. You make them money. Yes. Like they, still, they probably weren't standing by you because we think he's got smart guys. Joe Rogan, we like Joe. They're staying by you because you're the biggest podcast in the a world. A friend of mine who's a brilliant businessman said, you have the number one podcast in 96 countries. If you had the number 96 podcast in one country, you'd have been gone. And that's correct. He added 2 million subscribers during the negative publicity, he said. And Rogan also railed against YouTube's demonetization policy, which apparently affected 25 to 30 percent of his videos prior to his Spotify deal. And the Earbuds Podcast Collective this week examines episodes for light and dark chosen by Yardley Smith. You'll find that at earbuds.audio. In People News, one of the casualties at Nielsen includes Bruce Sapovitz, who built much of Nielsen's podcast tools. Supportive of Pod News since our inception, he describes himself as in a good place, and we wish him well. It's a Monday, so time for some tech stuff. Podcast analytics service OP3 has published its methodology of calculating a download. And John Spurlock has published more on why prefix analytics aren't always identical to log file analysis, particularly a different method of dealing with range requests. Major prefix analytics companies that we've spoken to, including PodTrack, say they have similar solutions in place. Pinecast is the latest to support OP3 in its dashboard. And OP3 reports the Pod News Daily has had 49,126 downloads in the last 30 days. Cloudflare has launched Wildebeest, an activity pub and Mastodon compatible server. If you're writing transcripts for the podcast transcript tag, if you need to support every client who might want to use it, make sure that the cause headers are set and open to everybody. Ask us how we know. And Spotify's non-standard chat to support might not be what the rest of the industry uses, but we can and should work around that, argues me. In a personal blog post, you'll find links from our show notes and our newsletter at podnews.net. And in podcast news, as we start a new year, some of that business goal advice you've been given might not work for you, especially if you have ADHD. In Business Strategy for Weenie ADHD Preneurs, Katie McManus gives advice and a 37 Weenie Challenge to get your 2023 off onto the right track. Australia's Shameless has launched a subscription channel on Apple Podcasts called Shame More. Good on you, mate. From KBTX in Bryan in Texas, Reckless, the Gonzalo Lopez escape looks at an escape of a convicted killer who remained on the run for three weeks while a terrified town wondered where he was hiding out. 
Has one of your high school classmates been accused of murder? When Sam Anderson heard that about one of his class, he travelled to California to look into it and discovered his mate had been pulled into psychedelic drugs. Crooked City, the Emerald Triangle, is now available in full from Novel and Truth Media for Sony Music Global. Digital Folklore is new today, a fusion of audio drama and narrative documentary exploring how our online expressions and culture, from scary stories to cat memes, are folklore. HBO's The Last of Us podcast was new yesterday to coincide with the show's premiere, and the fiction podcast Terrifying Lies is back for season two, starting with a three-part weird western tale that pits an apocalyptic cowboy and a young girl against a ruined town full of demons. It sounds like every Monday. Each episode ends with an original song from the host Craig Nibo. This podcast is sponsored by Magellan AI, and every month Magellan AI work out the top spenders in podcasting, as well as those making big moves in their podcast ad budget. Who will be last month's top advertisers? Well, you can find out in a free webinar on Wednesday, which you can register now. Just follow the link from the top of podnews.net. And that's our latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net. 